So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0389 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0389 code? Well, it's a crankshaft position sensor B intermittent interruption. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses sensors located on the crankshaft to know the location of it as it spins. And it's seen a problem with this, so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And what are some possible causes of a Honda P0389 code? Well, it could be a bad crank sensor, could possibly be a bad camp sensor, could be in the wiring like an open or a short, could be a blown fuse, and possibly a timing component like a timing belt or timing chain. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate the crankshaft position sensors on your particular engine. Since there can't be some differences, there could be one sensor or two sensors. It's really going to vary. It's going to depend on the year, the Honda, and the engine type, and things like this. Very likely, since this is saying sensor B, there's going to be two crankshaft position sensors. For example, here's a 2002 Honda Accord, and it has two crankshaft position sensors. They will be located down around the crankshaft somewhere, but it can vary a little bit on the exact location. But first thing to do, is go locate the crankshaft position sensors on your particular engine. And then the next thing to do is to check out the wiring and be sure that the wiring all looks good because anything wrong with the wiring, open, short, bad connection, it's going to cause the same issues as a bad sensor. And since this code is saying intermittent, it means it's not happening all the time. It's just popping up every now and again. So while one of these sensors might be failing, it could also be in the wiring. And so you're going to want to check out the wiring and be sure that all looks good. Again, it's going to be a good idea to get a diagram for your particular engine for the crank sensor to know exactly what's going on with the wiring since there can't be differences. Older Hondas often had two wires. Some newer ones can have four. Three wires is fairly common. But again, always get schematics for your engine. And the basics of what's going on with those sensors is like one wire is going to be a ground. One wire is going to have power going to it when the key's in the on position. And then one wire is going to be a signal wire that goes back to the onboard computer. And every single time there's a piece of metal directly in front of the sensor, it's going to send a pulse back to the onboard computer. So you can't check the wiring if you want to if you have a multimeter. But again, be sure to get schematics for your engine. Another thing to keep in mind is that these will be on a fuse, and so you want to check for any blow and fuses. Sometimes it can be a little bit vague on which fuse it is, but these are usually on a fuse. For example, this is a 2015 Honda CRV, and the camshaft and crankshaft position sensor on what is labeled ACG, and it would be fuse number two. And if that was a blow, there'd be a problem. So quite often, it's a good idea just to go through and check all the fuses, and just be sure that nothing's blown, especially if you're not getting no power to that circuit. And so if you've gone through and you checked all those things out, check out the wiring, that all looks good. There's no blown fuses, anything like that then very likely that crankshaft position sensor has failed and it'll need to be tested or replaced. You can't test it if you want to. There's some good YouTube videos on that. Or you can replace it. They are low-cost parts, so most people would go in and replace them. One thing to keep in mind when you do replace these sensors is that sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes there's a relearn procedure that needs to be done with the onboard computer. And so sometimes you could just swap them out, the engine starts, it runs fine. And then sometimes if you swap them out, the engine won't start or it runs really rough. And so you might want to research your particular year and engine to see if it has a crank crankshaft position sensor relearn process for the onboard computer. Since again, it can vary. Some do, some don't. But sometimes that could be an issue, especially if you don't have an OBD2 scan tool that has the relearn feature built in. And another thing to mention with this code that while it's not very common, is that sometimes the timing belt can become stretched or it can slip a notch and it can throw off all the sensors. And so the onboard computer thinks there's a problem, but there's not. The sensors are good, but the belt is just stretched or it slipped a notch or something like that. So that's always something to keep in mind that you can check for. Also keep in mind that the the crankshaft position sensor needs to work with the camshaft position sensor for timing. And so sometimes a bad camshaft position sensor can also throw this off. Although if that happens, you very likely are going to get another code. So if you got another code that's pointing to a camshaft position sensor along with the crankshaft position sensor, then I would test those cam sensors. I'd also check the timing belt or timing chain to see if it's stretched or slipped a notch. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a quick video on how you go about fixing the Honda with the P0389 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.